Question five is a transition metals question. And the problem with these is there's just so much information to process and you've got to do it fairly quickly. So I encourage my students as they're reading through these things to just jot down little thoughts that come into the head and I've done the same there. So iron is heated with chlorine to form an orange brown solid A. Orange brown is the color you associate with iron three plus. It's going to be iron chloride, or so it's iron three chloride in this case because it's um, because of the colour. Solid A is dissolved in water to form an orange brown solution X containing the complex iron FeH two O six three plus. Well, they even they told you that it's three plus there, then haven't they? Separate portions of X are reacted in experiments one to four below. So sodium hydroxide is added, orange brown precipitate. So that's obviously iron. 3 hydroxide, you get a precipitation reaction. Experiment 2, excess zinc powder is added to a solution of X. Mixture is heated. And the important thing is you've got a pale green solution formed. So the iron's gone down to the plus 2 oxidation state, containing the complex ion C. So that's going to be iron with 6 waters in the 2 plus state. An excess of aqueous potassium cyanide, KCN, is added to solution X, so that's still that. It turns yellow, so yellow implies it's um, still in the 3 plus state. We've got this MR, I'll come on to that, that part of the question. And then a bit about um, reaction with the ethane dioate ion, and we get up a pair of optical isomers. Okay, so the equations, so the formation of solid A, iron and chlorine. The important thing is we appreciate that it's iron 3 chloride, so it would balance like that. In experiment 1, the ionic equation for the formation of precipitate B, the simple version of that equation is fine. If you wanted to put the um, full version in, you could do. The equation for um, experiment two is the um, the reduction of the iron three plus to iron two plus by reaction with zinc so the zinc's going to go to zinc two plus and you can see the charge is there going from three to two the important thing to remember in this is the charges have to balance as well so that's why I need those twos there because I need a six plus charge on the left and a four plus and two plus six plus charge on the right. The type of reaction is redox. And then it gets quite tricky now. We know that the MRV is 211.8, sorry. It's gonna be FeCN something and we know from the yellow color that it's iron three. So what I've done is I've taken the MR, I've taken 55 away from the MR, that leaves 156. I've divided by the mass of CN, and that gives me six CNs have gone on to this. And so we're talking about FeCN6, and that would have a three minus charge, that's three plus, there's one minus each, it's three minus. And so the equation, Fe H2063 plus, reacting with six cyanide ions. So we've got this ligand substitution reaction taking place, which was the next question. So that's got a three minus charge and the six waters have been totally, they've been all substituted. In experiment four, the optical isomers F and G are formed, draw the 3D shapes. So this is testing your ability to draw these optical isomers. So we've got um, a central iron three plus ion. So we're not gonna show the charge of the iron, that's all taken into account by the overall charge there. So what I encourage my students to do is to draw an empty octahedron. So just draw the framework so imagine just these uh, lines and dashed lines and wedges with nothing on. And then the O minuses are the where the attachment takes place. So there's one ligand there. Put the next one there. 
next one there and then that represents the mirror which you, you don't need to draw of course and then just draw the mirror the reflection of that in that and then the second the sorry the last part of the question in a separate experiment iron metal is heated with potassium nitrate KNO3 which is a strong oxidizing agent reaction takes place and the important thing here we've got a, a red solution formed um, which contains the ferrate 6 ion ferrate 6 ions have an overall 2 minus charge so we have to work out a possible formula for ferrate 6 ions so where do we start with this well ferrate in, it means that we've got iron and oxygen so if you think nitrate there nitrogen and oxygen think of sulfate sulfur and oxygen ferrate just means iron and oxygen we know that this is in the plus six oxidation state from this roman numeral here and we're told that the overall charge of the iron is two minus each of these oxygens has a two minus oxidation number and so we need to work out well how many oxygens do we need to combine with a six plus iron to give a two minus charge overall and the answer is four so just work backwards on that now so four two minuses are eight minus Coupled with 6 plus will leave the 2 minus charge that we want, so yeah, that works.